Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tips, tricks, and tutorials, and of course, we like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I want to show you the top three simple farms that are going to help you out in your world. But first of all, I want to give you a very quick update on the Illegal Block Museum. I have actually fully completed the roof now. When I say fully, I do have one more idea, which basically it's going to allow me to like be able to walk on here. So like a staircase this side, maybe like a raised little platform here and the same that side. I mean, I think it looks all right. I've also added some front windows, which I think look pretty nice as well. And if I just go inside right about now, you can see that I've added this middle section, which is basically going to be another staircase. Of course, this is the second floor and this will now be the third floor and as i said a second ago i plan to build another couple staircases going on top of the roof oh yeah i've also added these windows which um i mean they look pretty good i still need to finish them though brief update complete let's get on with the three top simple farms so number one i wanted to go with the every wood tree farm now i say every wood tree farm the only two woods that it doesn't do is the nether woods but it does every overworld wood, which is incredibly handy. So if we take this like tree, for example, I mean, it would be really easy using this farm to actually cut down a full size jungle tree. This farm gives you three different platforms so you can have different height trees. And like I said, you simply go to the top and cut down the tree. Cutting down big trees compared to small trees is also gonna give you so much more wood. And as I said before, this thing can literally grow every tree in the overworld, depending if you do have the sapling. You can see on the sides as well, I mean, if you did need some vines, there is always a few little vines hanging around, so you could just silk touch those, and I mean, that was a little bit glitchy, but they'll end up in the chest as well so you don't just get wood from this farm you can also get apples sticks the occasional mob loot drop from when mobs get trapped in here of course if you want leaves for decoration you can always harvest the leaves as well one of my favorite woods to build and decorate with is definitely spruce wood and with this farm like i said you can build the big tall trees so you do not Oh, damn. You do not have to worry about not having enough. You're always going to have enough. Dude, that is insane. <laughs> Jeez Louise, I need to get out of here. Simply grow your tree and go to your required platform. And like I said before, simply mine the wood. So that is number one, the tree farm. I'm going to leave a full tutorial in the description below. Let's get on to number two. Number two, this farm is super simple and super easy to build. In fact, it is that good that it is pretty much like here where we're standing. I mean, it's not the most efficient, but you can pretty much pop this up wherever you are. Say like you've got a base nearby or just a little AFK area. You can pop one of these up and get yourself the additional bit of gunpowder. If you haven't guessed what I'm talking about already, of course, I'm talking about my creeper farm. Now, I don't know, but I have been AFKing there for a little bit. I've got 11 bits in there and I've got 15 bits in there. The middle one doesn't work because I've got a piece of redstone connected to that hopper. Which is, I mean, yeah, my bad. Now, if I go down here, I can actually show you the two modules of the farm. Now, this is one module. Again, it's not going to be the brightest because there's no light down here. It's fully pitch black. So, the creepers can actually spawn. And if I go through here, this is the second module of the farm. This thing is also fully expandable. And I think that's a creeper right now. As you can see, we got a creeper right there going through, which is perfect timing for the video. As I was just saying, this thing is fully expandable. So, you could have many of these different rooms added on to each other and you can pretty much put them anywhere of course it would rain i was saying you can pretty much put them anywhere i've literally put them underneath this field and the reason i did that is because i afk a lot at my iron farm so i thought it makes sense just to add a simple very quick creeper farm so i can get myself that additional bit of gunpowder so somehow a spider has died in there i'm not really sure how that's happened apparently two more have died in there as well that literally always confuses me how that works they literally can't fit in there, but 
Yeah. You could also make this farm 10 times better with the rates by simply adding a trident killer. I literally just didn't because I was literally lazy. Maybe one day I probably will. But if you want a full tutorial on how to make this super simple creeper farm, you can also find that in the description below. Literally since making it, I have never been without gunpowder, which is pretty awesome to be fair. I mean, I don't know if you watched the Simply Survival series, but gunpowder has kind of been one of those things that... I kind of didn't have a lot of. And for saying how simple this farm is, it definitely is worth a build. So the final one I want to add to this list is this iron farm. This thing is not the simplest thing to build, although it is very, very OP. I called it the best iron farm in the video. And to be honest with you, I couldn't be more right. This thing is genuinely one of the best iron farms I have ever made in Minecraft. Again, I didn't design this thing. Out of Chris World did, so a massive thank you to him. He did let me showcase it on my channel though, which was super awesome of him. I do have a full tutorial of this thing. This thing really does bust out the iron. Let me show you how much iron I've got since I've built this. I mean, look at all those blocks. All of those blocks and all of this just here. Not only that, I've got a couple stacks in there as well. And yeah, we do get some string and of course poppies, which always come in handy if you need like red dye. The string comes in a little bit more handy, but the iron is the most important thing. And you've already seen since we've been in this radius, we've had two golems spawn, which I mean, that's pretty decent. Another one of the main reasons I called this the best farm is because it simply has never broken on me. Been through many updates and it's still going strong. Even when villagers kind of messed up, this thing was still still like working and going all right this specific farm has never broken on me i mean touch wood i hope it doesn't break although actually saying that it has broke once and the reason it broke was because i added some stuff around it which kind of made the center of the village not the farm and it made the center of the village somewhere else so yeah it was definitely my fault but you can see literally this thing is busting out the iron golems like i said there is a full tutorial of this in the description below if you have not got yourself a decent iron farm i would definitely definitely recommend this one one last thing if you do want any additional information or tips or just want to get to know a few new people jump over to the discord server we have like a minecraft chat an illegals chat where we like share a bunch of new illegals when we find them in the minecraft chat is where i pin all of the maps that i make we have seed chats hive chat if anyone plays the hive and just a bunch of other chats as well also be quick because you can actually grab your very own before 3k members role this thing is here for a limited time only and of course we'll be gone when 3k arrives which is hopefully i mean soon so that is all i've got time for today i do hope these three farms help you out in your world i will catch you on the next one